Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Sharon Sews. Today's video, little sewing chat, a little bit of what I've been working on, some sewing plans, some sewing projects, and just a little bit of where has Sharon been? We have just returned from a little vacation. We had the opportunity to take a road trip to go see friends and family in the Northern States. When we left in June, it was hot, hot, hot. And I'm pointing over there because that's where my window is. You can't see that. <laughs> It was hot outside. We live in Texas, we live in East Texas. It was over 100 degrees on a regular basis and humid, whew, it was hot. But we thought we were escaping the heat to go see family in Minnesota only to discover that apparently we brought the heat wave with us. It was hot, hot, hot when we were in Minnesota. I know I've got some Minnesotans watching. Am I right or am I right? As usual, I planned in time to visit SR Harris as you know, that is one of my favorite fabric stores. It's just a treasure hunt. I have to ask, did you notice? Yes, while we were in Minnesota, I saw my hairstylist who happens to be my beautiful cousin. And I chopped off a whole bunch of hair, about this much. Not only did I have quite a bit cut off, I am going to start transitioning to gray, like most Everyone else, I have lots of gray at the temple because that's where we get gray really fast. And it had a lot of gray starting to come in here. So as you can see, she's added a bunch of highlights. It's lighter than it was. And she said, we're gonna go lighter so that you can start seeing what it looks like to have that lighter hair around your face. She goes, if you don't like it, you can just recolor it again. I didn't like it the first day, I'm not gonna lie. I looked in the mirror and I thought, oh my gosh, it's so light and it's so short. And now that I'm two weeks away from it, I love it. I'm really happy with the decision. And I'm gonna be really interested to see how long it takes before it goes gray. If you're not aware, Bernina is looking for their next class of Bernina ambassadors. And that application process is open through the end of July. I will link to it in the description box below. If it's something you think you might be interested in, I did put a video together that just is what's a Bernina ambassador from my perspective. And if you have any questions at all about what a Bernina ambassador is, leave them in the comments for me below or reach out to me on Instagram or on my Facebook page. I'll be happy to answer those for you. I have loved being a Bernina ambassador and I'm sad that it's going to be over in only six months. That is going to fly by so fast. Speaking of Bernina, part of being an ambassador is you get to create content for the We Also blog. And that is something that I was doing over the past month. And I was sewing up a storm, but I couldn't share them with you till the blog posts were published. I plan on publishing this video on Friday, July 1st, which means you have time to sew this. Hang on. A little mug rug. It's a really simple sew. I use scrap fabric that I had on hand. I've got some cotton batting inside and a little popsicle applique. We were in the midst of a heat wave here, as I think most of the country was, and it was over 100 degrees, and I just kept thinking of my childhood and how refreshing those little ice pops were, and that was the inspiration behind this project. Although this wasn't my first thought when I was asked to create a 4th of July mug rug. This was my first one. I wanted to mimic the star that's in the fabric. So this is an applique here. And there's also a little, can I get that? There's a little pocket here. And I was just thinking you could put a little treat in there, your little tea bag, um, silverware, whatever. And then I decided I really didn't like it. And this is how that one was born. The other project I completed for the blog was one pattern, four ways, right here. I took a pajama pattern. I started with this pajama shorts pattern and I go step by step showing you how to create summer shorts, comfortable elastic waist summer shorts using a pajama pattern, pajama shorts, pajama pants. That is a project that anyone can sew, even a beginner. The blog post is just to show how easily you can change something by your fabric choice or just tiny little design details. My first one, was just showing how to add a ruffle at the hem. The next one was showing how to add a fabric band at the bottom of the shorts. I use striped fabrics just to show how you can play with stripes, the direction of stripes for design interest. The next one, a simple pair of white shorts and I use decorative stitches on my sewing machine. How many of us have decorative stitches that we never use? Look at what a change that can make to a simple pair of white shorts. The last one, I added a tiny little paper bag waist. I added cuffs and a faux tie. 
It's not a faux tie, it's a tie that's stitched on. Can you believe those started as pajama shorts? That's one thing I love about sewing. I like thinking outside of the box, using different fabrics, making small design detail changes for completely new looks. Before I forget, I am wearing something that I sewed. This is the Sewing Workshop Edgewater Dress. If you watched my fabric haul video that I just posted, you might recognize this fabric. This was a super, super easy sew. I'll chat more about it when I do my makes video. I did join the Sewing Workshop Sew Confident Club for 2022, and this Edgewater dress was the project for June. This Sewing Workshop does sell kits for their projects, and I did buy the kit for this dress because I loved the colors on it. Unfortunately, the kits had been back ordered, and I was able to sew this one with fabric that I purchased before I actually received the kit. I have since received the kit. This is what they come in. This I love this little bag, and it comes with the fabric and the thread buttons. If the project has buttons, this one does not. Let me just show you. Oh, you know what? Rather than taking this out again, I'll put the picture up so you can see what this looks like. This was so easy to sew that I cannot wait to get this one sewn up also. Before we left on vacation, I sewed my latest Fabric Mart fabric ease to make. If you follow Fabric Mart fabrics, you've already seen this. It's my red summer dress and a pair of cropped pants. I'll talk about more of these in detail when I do the makes video. I really like this one. And after I sewed it though, I thought, oh my gosh, this would be beautiful on my daughter. So I packed it and had her try it on when we were in town. It's so cute on her. I'm gonna pop a picture up so that you can see it. She took it home with her and then gave it back the next day. And she said, I don't like the square neckline. And that's fine. That's okay. We all have to be, oops. <laughs> That's okay. If you don't like the square neckline, she would never have worn it. I will sew her something else. Sewing plans. Do I have any? No, I don't. I'm a little flexible in July. I'm just going to sew what I want when the inspiration hits, except for one project. I am going to do the Cashmere Club Wexford dress. I almost gave this away in a fabric haul video. I caught it in the editing process because I can't obviously share about the pattern until it's released. If you watched my fabric haul video, I do have a piece of fabric. It's a knit, it's a navy and white stripe with a big bold red stripe. And I did purchase that to sew this dress. That's what I've been up to. What have you been up to? Do you have a vacation plan this year? Would love to hear about it. Leave it in the comments for me below. I'll see you in the next video. I do hope you have a blessed day and happy sewing. Eee, why am I having a hard time? We did spend some time down at Stillwater, which is a great, great, that would be great and quaint together. Why does the mouth not want to work today?